Hey David. Okay, so just recapping on the fix uh, that I did to get the dresser door to actually open via the blueprint and Unreal Engine. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm just positioning the drawer itself onto the actual model. Oh, I'd say around there should be good. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up, do a modify, or actually. First thing is I'm going to, inside of Maya, I'm going to reposition the pivot points. You can actually do this on your end in Max. It's actually pretty easy. But on here, I'm going to hit D in Maya. I'm going to align. Hit D again to get out of it. And then I'm going to hit H to hide. With the dresser door itself, I'm going to do again D. Place the pivot point back here. Then I'm going to do a modify freeze transformation. Going to then go and display, hit show all. And then finally, I'm going to then do a file export selection. I already have this set as dresser 2, which I will include inside of the email when I send you that this video. So don't worry. And here, I'm going to go into here. I already created a folder called model imported everything, kept everything pretty much the same, I didn't change any settings, and then I've created a blueprint blueprint class as an actor. I already have that here in the dresser open. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this. Alright, so back in the blueprint I have two static meshes, one for the dresser and one for the drawer, and then I have a trigger box event scaled it up just a little bit to where it would cover and allow the player to have enough interaction. In the event graph I then created two trigger box events one for when you enter and one for when you exit which is when you select on this you right click and then add event collision and then you would do a begin and a end. From here you then pull out you're going to do a timeline, add timeline, call this open, and then from here do a float value, set this to zero, zero, add another one, set this one to one, one. Use last keyframe, control click, right click, set it to auto. Compile it, save. Go to your event graph again. From here, we're going to do a lerp vector. Alt click to take it off of here and set the new track to B. And then set this to 20. Bring this over. Oh, I guess that's a new way of zooming. Yay. And then you were going to then set this to the relative location of the drawer, not the dresser, and then set this to update. From here, all we're just going to do is we're going to do Control C. Control V to paste, bring this over, set this to reverse, and set the lerp to zero. We'll then compile, save it out. From here, we're going to now set the dresser to where you want. And the reason why I had the pivot point at the bottom is you notice how this is actually sort of constraining itself to the ground. That's the word I was looking for. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play. And you'll notice, answer, it opens, closes, open, close, open, close. So that is essentially how you actually go about adding a trigger event collider with the drawers opening and closing like you want. 
If you have any other questions, book another session. Otherwise, take care and have a great rest of your evening.